So we looked at the ex vivo expansion of TIL, tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, in patients with uveal melanoma. And we did it two different methods. We did it one method using something called TIL 1.0, and then we tried a adva more advanced method called TIL 3.0. Traditionally, what happens is a tumor is removed from the body, and then it is fragmented into a 48 or 96 well plate. After that, when the tumor is fragmented, it's hit with the several different cytokines, um, or, or you do several things to try to expand the T cells. The cancer will naturally kind of die away in that plate. So the traditional way would be to tickle the T cell receptor with something called anti-CD3 or OKT3, and then you'll give some growth factor interleukin-2. And that usually leads to an expansion of TIL, both a CD4 regulatory population as well as a CD8 effector population. But we, that's TIL 1.0. That's how most people would ex vivo expand TIL. What we did with TIL 3.0 is we gave it an additional signal in between the OKT3 and the IL-2. And that was agonistic 4-1-BB antibody. What 4-1-BB does is it activates the immune system. So now we have another activation marker, um, an activation factor being given in culture to these TIL. What we found in both cutaneous, but in this abstract we presented the uveal melanoma data, is that this led to a greater expansion of TIL. The TIL grew to a greater number. They more successfully met the threshold of 40 million at that first expansion phase. And they took a shorter amount of time in culture. So they went from a median of needing five weeks in culture using TIL 1.0 to just over two and a half weeks with TIL 3.0. And it went from an average of maybe 100 million cells to almost 285 million cells. So you just got exponentially more T cells. You got them faster. You had more success meeting that 40 million threshold. And actually, they were a better quality, too. So they had a better CD8 to CD4 ratio. We also treated nine patients with uveal melanoma with TIL. The treatment period actually happened mostly during the TIL 1.0 period, though we did have two patients treated with TIL 3.0. Of those nine patients, there were two partial responders that were quite durable, 16 months and 22 months in length. To have one treatment in uveal melanoma give a patient over a year and nearly two years of progression-free survival is really incredible. One of those TIL products was TIL 1.0 and another product was TIL 3.0. So we're really excited about this idea of generating a better batch of TIL and now we think we need to treat patients with it. One other cool thing about harvesting from patients with uveal melanoma, the tumor starts in the eyeball and eventually there are metastasis within a few years. For the first time, we actually showed that you could grow till from the primary tumor. So if a patient was already opting to have their eye removed as treatment for that primary tumor, we could take the till from that eye tumor and expand them and bank them. So when, if and when that patient became metastatic, they had their till ready and waiting for them. You compare that to the current standard in metastatic melanoma, skin melanoma, uveal, whatever. When a patient is metastatic, they then have to go for surgery, which can take maybe a week or two to get scheduled, then another few weeks of manufacturing, then getting in the queue for treatment, then the final rapid expansion phase of TIL. So they're not actually getting their TIL treatment for several weeks, if not several months. And keeping a patient stable for that long can be challenging. So pretty cool to think that we could start harvesting from eye tumors, bank those, and have those ready within days to weeks if a patient develops metastasis.